Hey guys, I'm gonna do my video a little bit different today. Uh, I'm at my HOA, like I mentioned yesterday, my big HOA account, and I got all three guys here. But hey, listen, I've been watching these guys work over here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I think you can see pretty good. Yeah, y'all, their uh, skin tone is similar to mine, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I think Jesus may end up coming back before they finish. I mean, it's I'm peeking in on them as I'm mowing. And uh, yeah, watching them work is, <laughs> It's kind of pathetic to be honest with you i mean i'm just going to be honest it's kind of pathetic yeah like i said jesus may come back before they finish that back section of that house doing whatever it is they're doing i guess remodeling the uh the back facade of the, the apartment building there but yeah y'all yeah it's funny watching them to be honest with you and sad at the same time but yeah i got three guys with me today guys luckily james showed up he's blowing off uh justin's weed eating and hunter's doing the trash so i'm trying to keep everybody busy by the way, Hunter was late, so I mean, I'm telling you, it's just overslept. It is what it is, but luckily he showed up, so yeah, uh, he's pretty much part-time now, guys, but but anyway, uh, luckily, James showed up. Uh, he seems to be doing fine, not sick. Justin's doing a good job, and uh, we're getting this knocked out, so uh, as soon as Justin gets done weeding the area, I'm going to be getting him started on uh, trimming bushes. We trim the bushes here twice a year. So yeah, this will be the first trim of the year. So we need to get started on the bushes. I doubt we'll do all of them. We'll do a good bit of them here today. So yeah, it's just a matter of me. I'm trying to do a good job of keeping everybody busy, keeping everybody moving and not sitting around. Of course, you know, at the same time, I'm only, I'm the only one mowing. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about how to go about mowing these certain sections of the property here. That way, uh, yeah, I'm not messing them up you know, cause I don't want him to be blowing and then me go back and mow these certain sections and blow obviously clippings where he just blew off at. That makes sense y'all. So yeah, I got to think of that. But yeah, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. I don't know if you can see, yeah, I've got a lot of mowing done, uh, a couple hours uh, mowing so far. So yeah, I've mowed a lot of these areas. The grass is really thick, the Bermuda, it's really growing. So yeah, y'all, uh, uh, the mower, I'm using my new laser and it's, burning through a good bit of gas. It's already used about half a tank in a couple hours. Yeah, y'all, uh, hope y'all doing well. By the way, I got a topic of discussion. I noticed the video today. I want y'all to get a look at these guys over here. Look at them, there's, I don't think anybody's actually working on the building, on the scaffolding. They're just sitting there. And this has been going on every, uh, the whole morning that's been going on. I've just been noticing them. Just basically standing around for the most part. But yeah, y'all, that's what happens when you don't get Spanish guys to do construction but anyway hey listen uh i watched the video max lawn and landscape i like this guy but i'm kind of questioning the video a little bit and the reality of it uh he did a video uh, and the title was 120 dollars in 25 minutes so yeah y'all uh go watch it and uh see what you think like i said i got some questions about it and we'll discuss those in a bit but yeah uh <clears throat> go watch the video and let me know what you think, the reality of it. Obviously, I, I commented and asked him like what area he's in. I'm not really sure where he services, uh, does, you know, works at and that kind of thing. But yeah, my opinion, guys, hey, listen, that's definitely the exception. If you're gonna push mow those small yards like that and make that kind of money, that's definitely the exception, not the rule when it comes to lawn and landscape. Obviously, it depends on the area you're in and that kind of thing. But yeah, there's some things I noticed I picked up on that I got a question a little bit. So anyway, y'all, hey, listen, do yourself a favor and go watch that. And uh, I'll get some footage of mowing and whatnot throughout the day. And uh, we'll talk more about that video in particular. And uh, I'm curious to see what y'all think, guys. But anyway, I hope you're having a great day, guys. I'll talk to you later.
I got I got some good footage there. Uh, yeah, uh, the mower's doing great. Obviously, like I said, the only complaint I have is, is the gas. It consumes a lot of gas, but anyway, uh, it is what it is. Luckily, it's cloudy today, guys, so it feels good. A little bit humid. Hopefully, it don't rain. I don't think it's supposed to. But yeah, I go ahead in a situation like this when it's just me mowing. I got multiple guys working with me. I'm trying to get a good outline and mow enough to where when uh, uh, James comes to blow, he's not going to have to worry about coming back and re-blowing again, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm actually finishing up these sections that I mowed earlier, going ahead and knocking them out, getting them done. And luckily everything's working out good. He's not going to have to, I didn't blow a lot of clippings on the concrete, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's working out good. But anyway, a couple things, guys, assuming you watch the video and it's a short video, it's only six or seven minutes long. And anytime, and I've noticed this, the short time I've been doing YouTube, anytime you do a title, like, uh, you know, $120 in 25 minutes, like he did, or you know, I've done some videos uh, a couple Saturdays ago where I made 860 and three and a half, you know, doing aeration and some other things, or 550, 550 and three and a half hours. You know, those titles, you know, showing the figures and that amount of time is pretty enticing to watch. So yeah, I'm assuming he may just be doing that just to get some clicks, that kind of thing, I don't really know. But yeah, obviously he's doing a good job. I had a lot of views this morning when I watched it. But a couple things, uh, and if you watch the video, I'm sure you'll notice, the first thing I noticed, and he got a good, uh, got some good footage of both yards. They are pretty small, but I mean, push mowing them, both edging with the weed eater and weed eating a little bit and their weeklies. I mean, I got a question whether it really took 25 minutes or not. Maybe, but I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, I don't even know if I, if I could do that in 25 minutes. I'm thinking personally, maybe more like 35 to 40. You had to really do a good job and he's using that little handheld blower. So I'm, Curious if you think that's even possible to do that. Push mow those yards, edge, weed eating with a weed eater and blow off that little blower in 25 minutes. So yeah, I'm curious what y'all think guys. I'm thinking maybe he might have, uh, it might be a little stretch, 25 minutes to do that, what he did there. I'm just curious what you think. Uh, personally, I'm thinking it'd probably take me a little bit longer and I'm, I'm really good out here. I'm a beast out here. So uh, I wouldn't think I could do that in 25 minutes, maybe 35. So yeah, curious what you think about that. And then also I noticed, and I asked this, or I commented about this, the houses, I mean, it doesn't look like they're, they're not super nice houses. So I'm automatically thinking, can people that have a house like that, and I don't mean a stereotype, but I'm just assuming they're not super wealthy or, you know, well off by any means. Can they really afford to pay somebody a small yard like that, $250 a month? I'm, obviously they're probably not doing it throughout the year. But even so, I mean, what, yeah, 63 times four is what, 252 a month uh, for several months in the year. I mean, can they really afford that? I mean, I'm, I'm just questioning that just based based on looking at the houses themselves. Uh, but yeah, curious if y'all noticed that too, guys. But those are two things I noticed right away, the time it took them and questioning whether it really took them that time. Because for me, I don't think I could have done it in 25 minutes just based on what he showed. Push mowing, edging, weed eating, and the houses themselves looking the way they do. Can those people really afford to pay that uh, in the time it took them? Uh, you know, just looking at the houses themselves, like I said, I just, I just got a question whether the people living there can really afford to pay that each month. You know, and I mean, but anyway, yeah. A few other things, guys, uh, we'll, we'll talk about them throughout the video. A few other things I want to bring up, points I want to make. But yeah, y'all, hope you're having a great day. I'm going to get some more footage of me mowing this uh, property here. Have a good one.
Hey guys, let's give you a quick update real quick and uh, continue to discuss that video I was talking about earlier on with Mac and whatnot. But anyway, he uh, has actually commented and responded to my comment and I've replied again. I believe we're the same age, we're pretty close to it, and I believe he was a former uh, football, college football player, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one of his videos, I think I remember him talking about that. But yeah, I told him I was a, obviously I played two years of Juco baseball, so it's a pretty good athlete as well. But, but anyway, yeah. Seemed like a nice guy. I just like I said, just wanted to bring up the video and talk about some things and just uh, you know bring up discussion, so to speak. So yeah, so I just got done eating lunch about one o'clock now, guys. I've been noticing certain things that didn't get done right that the guys are doing. So I'm gonna go back around and kind of double check everything, making sure everything's getting done correctly. Uh, I got to weed eat a few spots here and there, that kind of thing. Uh, certain spots that weren't weed eated right, you know, that, that sort of thing. So that's what you got to be <clears throat> looking out for, especially in these big properties. When you got multiple guys helping you, uh, just making sure everything's getting done right and looking good and that kind of thing. So, yeah, there's some notes where Justin's trimming the bushes. He's leaving a lot of bush trimmings on top. So I'm going to go, you know, clean that off and uh, that sort of thing too, guys. But, yeah couple points about the video guys uh, I think he mentioned in the comment or maybe in the video itself I think he said his minimum is uh, $63 a cut now uh, which I mean honestly if he's if he's getting that and I mean I can't I'm not gonna say he's lying about it I mean obviously I'm assuming he's being truthful but uh, 63 that's a really high minimum and obviously like I said before it really depends on the area as far as what you charge and whatnot but for me I'm in a really good area and if I charge 63 I'd be cutting myself out on a lot of jobs, guys, because, I mean, frankly, there's a lot of, you know, yards and properties around here that, you know, you're not going to get $63. And if that's your minimum, you're going to be uh, cutting yourself out of a lot of profitable, easy jobs, easy yards around my area uh, in terms of the minimum itself, y'all. So, yeah, you got to consider that. I'm assuming his minimum is in concrete, and uh, I've said before, talking to Shane over at DLT in the comments on one of his videos, uh, that my minimum is, and I've mentioned this, is 50 generally, but I will make exceptions, you know, uh, based on certain circumstances, and if there's a really small yard close to an existing customer, that kind of thing, I'll make an exception, but yeah, uh, 63 is pretty high if you ask me, and people were asking, comment and say man that seems high for that yard they're saying you know maybe 40 45 50 uh would have been a good price uh but yeah I mean, if he's able to get that good for him but around here uh for the job that he showed he wouldn't be getting that kind of money 99 percent of the time now, there would be some people that don't care that would be willing to pay that but again <clears throat> Uh, be careful setting your minimum too high, you know, that kind of thing. And always be willing to make exceptions when it comes to your minimum because you can, you know, leave money on the table, so to speak, uh, if you're not careful with certain jobs, if your minimum's super high and uh, you're, you're concrete, you know, you're set on that minimum. So I think about that. But, yeah, uh, another thing, guys, if his minimum is that high, I got to assume maybe – you gotta assume that maybe there's not a whole lot of competition in that area where he services, you know, as far as the yards that he does. Because my area, I mean, heck, yesterday I was noticing guys in pickups going around with push mowers in their back, back of their pickup, that kind of thing, you know, uh, obviously mowing. So yeah, my area, we have a ton of competition. We don't have a lot of established businesses necessarily. We got a few, but I mean, there aren't many like me necessarily uh out here driving around but there are a lot of you know chucks in a truck that kind of thing just guys trying to make a little extra money so yeah i mean you got to consider the amount of competition you have too you know how much competition is in your near area if you got a lot of competition then you're not going to be able to charge you know uh, as much you know so you got to think of that you know how much competition do you have in relation to what you're able to charge and price and that kind of thing so think of that young guys Landon, I'm curious, buddy, uh, if you watch this video, I hope you do, go watch this video. And I'm curious if you think you could get $63 for a similar size yard, because I believe you commented about not feeling like you're getting really paid that well in the yard and the jobs that you're doing now. But anyway, guys, hey, listen, hope this is helpful. Uh, I'll probably do some more footage and uh, do a closing later. I hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you later.
Hey guys, about a little after six now. I just got done uh, mowing the yard by myself. I dropped the guys off around five. Had a really good day. Uh, obviously, I was talking about <clears throat> when I was getting the footage over my big HOA account. We got it mowed and did a lot of bush work as well. So yeah, it was good. Had a really good day, can't complain. We got done there by 2.30 and then went on and ended up mowing uh, yeah, nine yards total. So yeah, really good day. Uh, can't complain, the guys did good. Proud of Justin Hunter and uh, James for you know, doing a good job and working hard. I really feel like we got a lot done. A lot of things I've been meaning to do for a while now. Some bush, some other uh, brush trimming type stuff I've been meaning to do on that particular property for a while. I ended up doing that too, so yeah. Productive day overall, guys. Hey, listen, I'm gonna make this short because I still gotta get loaded up. We'll be in two trucks tomorrow. I got my walker fixed, by the way. I gotta give Ace a shout out. Your dealer is really important, guys. Uh, they got on it. I let them know I really needed it ASAP and they got on it and uh, luckily we were able to find a part, the uh, throttle cable itself and fixed it right away. So yeah, really appreciate Chandler and Nora and all the guys up there, uh, the team up there at the uh, at Ace Hardware uh, service shop. They did a really good job. and. Appreciate them for getting on it. Yeah, your dealer is very important, guys, by the way. Uh, you guys have been doing this for a long time, know that. But anyway, yeah, y'all, uh, the moral of the story, you know, and uh, Mac uh, seemed like a really good guy. I'm not calling him out or anything like that. I just thought I'd point some things out, you know, for discussion, that kind of thing. But I think the main point I want to make when you see these headlines, and I've had some of these headlines because, frankly, I've noticed that whenever you have similar headlines like, you know, 25 minutes, you know, $120 in this case, for example, uh, you're going to attract a lot of views because, I mean, I understand people want to know how you made that much money in that shorter time. So yeah, you're going to get a lot of clicks, a lot of hits, but the main point I want to make, because I'm going to keep it real on my channel and tell you the truth is that's the exception. It's not the rule in this industry. You will have instances where you will make that kind of money in that short, short amount of time. It's dependent on a lot of factors, so you got to consider all the different factors that come into play in order to make that kind of money in uh, in that particular case. But yeah, it's not not often that's going to happen, guys. Just so you know, just some young guys understand, you're not going to make that kind of month that kind of money in that short of time uh, in this line of work. So yeah, yeah, keep that in mind, guys. Like I said, it's the exception, not the rule. You can do it on occasion. Uh, and that kind of thing, guys, but it's not very often. So yeah, it really, really depended on your area and the customer themselves. I mean, you may be able to have that happen from time to time, but it's uh, gonna be pretty rare to be honest with you. So yeah, keep that in mind, guys. Uh, yeah, a lot of times guys on YouTube are just trying to get clicks and views, that kind of thing, and something that catches people's eyes, so to speak. So yeah, but anyway, y'all, hey, listen, hope you're having a great week, guys. And uh, hopefully, you know, like I said, my video uh, spurred a little bit of thought and discussion, that kind of thing, and helped you all out a little bit. Uh, feel free to comment. Appreciate everybody, all the new subscribers. I keep adding more and more subscribers each and every day, so I appreciate you all viewing and uh, continue to view, please, if you don't mind, if you want to. Feel free to comment as well, and I'll try to answer your question. If you ever have something you want to discuss, me uh, do a video on, feel free to answer. Feel free to ask, too, so yeah, uh, that'd be appreciated. So just let me know what you want to talk about, and I can do my best to uh, let you know my thoughts on it guys so but anyway guys hey listen hope you're having a great week had a great day today thankful god gave me a good day good weather it's really cloudy uh, started raining earlier it started raining early only but i wanted to get it done but yeah overall great day today guys hope you're having a great one great week talk to you later